Who you into it? So this is my Jin Yan build. I will do my best. I know she's a weird character. All her skills and abilities just really don't match. And they even gave her a Texan accent, which I have no issue with. She has the same voice actress as Barbara, which indicates that the actress herself has a really good vocal range and is really good with accents. So no issue with the actress. All right, let's start off with weapon. So I'm using Jin Yan as a support. There's no other way to get around it because her kit is just weird. So I'm using the White Iron Great Sword. It's R5. If you defeat an enemy, you restore HP. So a better weapon would be the White Blind, but Noelle is using it. Okay, and you could get the five-star defense weapon if you want to. So if Arataki Ito is rerunning then you could wish for that weapon. I will show you that weapon now. So, weapons. Uh, let's go for five star, okay. Um, Claymore. So it is the Red Horn Stone Thrasher. I cannot show you. All right, so it only gives you weapons that you've got. That kinda, it, that's not helpful. But yeah, it's the Red Horn Stone Thresher. Um, you could get that weapon if you truly want to main Jin Yan. Um, probably not. So, coming back to artifacts. She is running a four piece husk of opulent dreams. My stats are garbage, but the reason why I'm running Four piece opulent dreams is because her skill scales off defense and she is weird she scales off defense has physical damage and has pyro infusion i think they didn't think this character through um, to be honest so here's all my stats it's um they're all garbage so nothing too impressive this one wasn't too bad actually and yeah does the four piece set help her in a way but not really it helps with the defense bit but not so much with the geo damage i think uh more recommended would be the pale flame So, Pale Flame or Bloodstain. So those are her recommended, but I don't do recommendations. I'm trying to make the best of a bad situation for Jin Yan. All right, so Constellations. Um, I don't know why you would get Constellations for Jin Yan, just because she's not in season ever. But, so, C1, she increases attack speed when she crits and her charge attack by 12% for 5 seconds, which is cool. C2, so when you land the physical hit from her burst, its crit rate is 100%, which is nice. Then C3 and 5 is just a plus 3 for her skill and burst. C4 decreases physical resistance. Nice. So C6 decreases stamina consumption. And she also gains attack bonus equal to 50% of her defense. So that's why I gave her as much defense as possible and her defense right now is 3000 it could be more if I gave her white blind but I don't have a spare white blind right now in terms of talents 
Uh, I am mixed between the burst and skill. I personally would go for skill, burst, then attack. But others have said burst, skill, then attack. So it's up to you. Alright. Now, in terms of team composition, she works well with pretty much the only character, um, which is Eula. And Eula herself is a rarity. So she's a cryophysical claymore user. So she's the only real physical character, I suppose. I mean, Ito as well, in a sense. Uh, is Ito? Nah, because Ito's got a Geo infusion. So it's not the same as Eula. So yeah, Eula. So imagine Chang Yun as Eula. So imagine Chang Yun as Eula. Jin Yan works well with Dia, just because she's a Claymore user, I guess. And Pyro, so the Pyro Resonance helps Dia in a way. And Mika, if you're running with Eula. So Jin Yan, Mika, Eula. It's really hard to build a team for Jin Yan because her kit is just so weird. It's like she scales off defense and she does physical attack and she has pyro infusion. So what is the point in that? Like if you're pyro infused you're no longer doing physical damage. So I don't know what the developers were thinking. To be fair, Jin Yan was one of the earlier characters and maybe they were just experimenting with Jin Yan. I mean look, if they released that um, skin for Jin Yan that they had in the story, then I guess we would just, well I would play her if she had that skin. So what's the best way to use Jin Yan? That is the question. I don't have a clear answer, I just use her as a pyro shield support, that's the best thing I can do for her. But Toma technically is actually better in every single way. Sorry Xinyan, that's like in terms of pyro shield and pyro application, Toma is just better. He is just better at your job. Okay. Um, I'm trying to be as, like, I'm trying to make a bad situation. Jin Yan is not a terrible character. She is misunderstood. I think her time will shine. The meta has not come. I think when the physical meta ever arrives in the game, then yes, she will have her place. When there are physical characters, she will be like, from F tier to an S tier, maybe an L tier support for physical characters. But at the moment, we only have Eula, and she is a rarity. Like, we hardly ever get reruns of Eula. Alright, uh, I tried my best to build Jin Yan. I know people don't really play Jin Yan like I play her. Hell, I even don't play Jin Yan, I'm sorry. Um, like the three Jin Yan mains out there, I'm sorry. Alright, so for artifacts, you would use Pale Flame and Bloodstain, but like I said, I just cranked up the defense to maximum because I'm only using her as a pyro shield support. Alright. Thanks for watching, hope you had a great day, be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications, leave a comment below. Do you play Jin Yan? Are you one of the few that is waiting for the physical meta to happen in Genshin Impact? Become a member if you want to, drop a super thanks if you want to, until next time, see ya.